Welcome back to my messy garage. I am Brad and this is what's sold on eBay. Got these dots here, and dots are getting discontinued by Lego, uh, but this is already retired. This is like a bag tag. You can put it on a backpack or luggage. Uh, and this one in particular, it's like a cube, and it's customizable. It's set number 41929. Got this uh, a year or two ago. Can't remember how long I had it. I think it was last year, though. I got it at Michael's, of all places, to buy Lego. They did have some pretty good sets there. Now it's not so much that great. Uh, but they did a clearance run last year and did some really good deals. These were only $3. Pick this up and some other ones that I've already sold. I think I got one more. Uh, but this one in particular, paid 3 bucks, sold for $15, free shipping. And it's very light. It'll go in a very small box. So, good money. Got this Marvel Legends action figure. This is Ant-Man in giant form. Uh, this is Giant Man. It's from Captain America's Civil War. Uh, it's uh, from where he fought on the uh, airport. Uh, yeah. But anyways, classic scene. And I've had this for a good minute. This was found at a store that liquidates. And you can see, usually when I buy stuff there, they has some kind of damage on it. A lot of uh, Amazon stickers and stuff on that place. But anyways, the, every now and then they'll underprice. A lot of the times they overprice. But this one I think I picked up for about 15 and new. A lot of Marvel Legends stuff does do well and Ant-Man's movie was coming out. So I held on to it for a while. So I think I got about $15 into this and it sold for $35 plus about $9 shipping. So I've done some opened uh, used Marvel Legends figures and they've done pretty well too so uh, always be on the lookout for those they typically have more articulation meaning the elbows bend in more ways than one and the fingers will bend and all that good stuff so check them out didn't know who this guy was when I found him but he definitely looks vintage and check out that cheesy smile a wrestler obvious this one's WWF the model rick this is a series 5 hasbro from 1993 uh but anyways it's got some damage you can see the wear down here and you can see on top his hair is thinning uh which it's not supposed to be so i didn't get top dollar for this but when i comped him out even in uh you know situation conditions like this it was doing all right so I listed it for, I think, like 19 bucks, knowing I wasn't going to get it. Someone sent me an offer for 15 and I took it $15, free shipping, another light shipper, so making some profit on that as well. Hey, I got this Briar art class set. Now, I found it at Goodwill. It was open, and this hairdo is a little strange. It's a little messy here. It's not like the picture on the back, but everything is still tied in with the little twisties in there so it looks like it's brand new uh, and that's how I sold it it's a brand new open box so I found this at Goodwill for probably about five bucks and this sold for $35 plus about $10 shipping oh these Legos I found at the bins uh, they were in a box and this is another one of those that was found in the put back area so someone had picked these up in the box checked it out and decided they weren't going to buy it put it back i just stumbled across it uh but it is not a hundred percent complete it is probably about 98 percent 99 percent uh but this is six six zero one eight three that's the set number and this is uh heavy cargo transport the theme is city and city doesn't always do that great but it was already built for me so it wasn't really any hard work um, just took pictures of it and listed it fifteen dollars plus about eight dollars shipping only got about a dollar into that so pretty cool sagrada looks like some stained glass window game here Found this at the bins, and uh, while I was there, I went ahead and counted all the pieces. There's like 90-something dice and a few other things in there. 
Uh, but everything was there. It's complete. So picked it up. Only charged me a dollar for it. Sold for $22 plus about $8 shipping. So pretty good. Got these uh, little people out here in these baggies. Uh, these are Disney Princess to be specific. So we got Rapunzel, Aurora, and uh, I've got five daughters. So this is how I know all these. Tiana and everybody's least favorite, Snow White. So I got these little by little. Didn't find them all at once. And I just sit on for a while until I find a bunch. So in total, I got about 10 here, I believe. Yeah, 10. And these, maybe a dollar into them. They're throw-ins with every other toy bag that I get. So these sold for $10 plus $6 ship. Got this uh, Bugs Bunny Halloween plush. Looks like he's Dracula or vampire of some sort. Got the cape and the, and the tie. Maybe he's a magician. I don't know. Anyways, Bugs Bunny, classic, little guy too. This was only a dollar at Goodwill, and he just sold in April for some reason for $13. Free shipping. We'll go in a, a probably a padded mailer, and uh, we'll make sure his eyes get covered up, and because those are hard, so is the nose. So we'll protect all that when we ship. Now this one I've already got bubble wrap because I originally sold it and then when I was packaging packaging it, I uh, realized uh, that it was cracked. So I'll put this up. This is a Aunt Marilyn cell. This is Aunt. This is baby. Nope, Betty Boop. I'm gonna get it. I'm a little tired. This is Betty Boop. This is the one where she's dressed like a zebra and it's, it's called I Earned My Stripes. Uh, but anyways, this is Danbury Mint and. Uh, I reached out to the buyer, let them know, hey, I noticed the cracks that I did not mention in the listing. I always do this just in case the condition is different than what I listed. I don't want there to be an issue. So I reach out. They say, okay, yeah, just cancel it. It's all good. I cancel it. And then I relist it. Uh, now, the pictures did show the cracks in there. I just missed it. But uh, it could have easily been put on me because I did not note it on the account so, or on the listing. So... I uh, just went ahead and relisted for a cheaper price. This sold for $10 plus $6 shipping. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks for checking it out. Appreciate all the new subscribers. Don't forget to hit that like button and ring that ding -a ling if you want more content like this. Until next time, keep on eyeing, buying, flipping, and shipping!